Uh, my Republican colleagues and I have stood ready for months hoping to get a chance to help write a bill that would fundamentally reform the insurance market, that would offer new protections to guarantee that consumers, all consumers, could buy affordable, high-quality health insurance. Um, that includes people with pre-existing conditions, as you mentioned, and chronic diseases. Um, plans that would provide subsidies for low-income workers to help them get coverage and to harness the competitive forces to increase quality and drive down health care costs. These are concepts that enjoy broad bipartisan agreement. They're also policies that would fundamentally transform how we provide health care in this country. These are the kinds of changes that could be the key cornerstones of a bill that could easily gain the support of 75 to 80 senators, and I think that's a, a real landmark we need to shoot for, for people to have confidence in the plan. We won't be able to make everybody happy, but uh, I think to make America happy, we're going to have to have a, agreement, give and take, uh, solutions that will keep 75 to 80 senators happy with the bill. And uh, I think that will be a, a formula that, that will work, and I think it's an achievable formula. And then it could be sent to the president for his signature, and uh, I know we're hoping before the August recess, I'm hoping that we don't become the victims of a deadline when we could get it right. And it, it, we've got to get it right. As you mentioned, this affects 100% of America, 100% of the consumers, 100% of the providers, 100% of the businesses. We have never worked on a bill that comprehensive, that affecting. And I, I regret that we find ourselves here today marking up this bill. The committee's activities today kind of represent a wasted opportunity to enact real health care reform that could benefit millions of Americans. Rather than considering the partisan bill before us, I wish we could instead be marking up a bill that could gain real bipartisan support and make a difference for America. We did not start with a blank piece of paper. We started with a Kennedy staff bill, and uh, that is that third of the pile. Um, and it's missing sections. It may be missing as much as half. And uh, the reason that we have all of these amendments to go with it is that we haven't had time to discuss and incorporate a lot of the things that are here into there. I'm still hopeful that we will take the time to get it right.